welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkion Wiersma, but EJ is fine as well, to make it a little bit simpler. <laughs> and uh, yes, this is already uh, the blooming update for the month of September. So, um, and I have quite some uh, Arcades in bloom, so I don't want to waste too much time. Just uh, starting straight uh, with uh, uh, some beautiful blooms on these, uh, this Venda. And um, as you can see, it has two spikes on a mother plant. But also a keiki. This plant, I believe, has seven keikis. But the first one is also starting to bloom. And it's just a beautiful bloom, if you ask me. It's, it's, it's a very dark purple, but sometimes it almost look, uh, looks uh, uh, black, very dark, with this yellow creamy color in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, it really uh, starts to make quite a show. I hope it can. Yes, this is a bit better, I think. But yeah, beautiful. And I just saw the other day that over here, another uh, keiki is making a spike there. So I'm not sure what the others will do. But I thought, yeah, maybe one day if they all start to bloom, this uh, becomes quite a uh, show on this Venda. But I think it's, it is already. But then even more. So that's, uh, that's very beautiful. And talking of Vendas, let me uh, go over here. This is uh, the Venda that I did receive as a gift from Inse. Beautiful, whoops, there was a bucket <laughs> on the floor. Beautiful or, uh, orange, pink flowers. This one is sadly is going over already, but this was the first spike. And that one snapped. Then I did make another one that also snapped. So the flowers are very heavy. Beautiful nonetheless, absolutely beautiful. But I came up with a sort of uh, construction here with the wires. It's very inconvenient when, uh, when I water the plant, because uh, especially when I need to empty the face. This needs to come loose. And, but yeah, so far I didn't break it. I did get uh, a, a good suggestion from Mark from uh, Tuki World to get some uh, bonsai wire. But I don't have that around currently. So I came up with this <laughs> just to support the spikes extra. But like I said, beautiful blooms. Yeah, and I hope it, next time it will be better. This shouldn't be happening, I think, if we do ha hybridize them so much that they do start to make weak, weak spikes. Yeah, we have a problem, I think. But yeah, like I said, probably next time it will be better. But uh, yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful display. So yeah, that were the first Vendas. So let me have a quick look over here. My Karasitan times uh, types <laughs> are starting uh, to make the spikes, at least the first two. And this one is uh, more progressed already, but no uh, flowers yet. So moving on, we have this fell with this ugly brown leaf from a Lycasta in front of it. But look at those colors. Absolutely beautiful. And then here, this beautiful yellow one. I like to show this one because it has such a beautiful fragrance. It's a citric fragrance, but it also has a beautiful yellow bloom. And this one has a name. There you go. And we d the one we just saw, actually, I did forget this one. It also has a name over here. If you uh, would like to buy this one, absolutely beautiful. This one is still in bloom. <laughs> and a few blooms over there. And then look at this one, my chrysanthemum, dendrobium, chrysanthemum orange type. The very, 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 very big one, as you can see. It's starting to bud, to bud, to, to bud up. <laughs> Buds are almost uh, starting to open up, I should say, but not yet. So move on. <laughs> then we have this beauty. It's a cross with a why not. Where is the tag? It's over here. Let me uh, quickly show it to you guys. That's the tag, and there's an old flower there, but it's a beautiful reddish, pinkish, orange, a little bit of orange even there in there, bloom. Not that big as you can see. Let me dump that old flower. <laughs> but beautiful little blooms. Golden peacock. Still some flowers over there. Let's go over here. This one is starting to go. This is the African Beauty. African Beauty. First time bloomer for me. Only one bloom, but 
It is beautiful. Then I have this one. This is also a very beautiful Cattleya. I think two blooms with a nice fragrance on it. And this is her name. Yeah, it's very, very nice uh, Cattleya type of fragrance. And this one is almost done as well. But still beautiful, but it starts to hang, to lean over, as you can see, and that's the first time of this one. That it's planning on going. Then the Encyclia Green Hornet we have here, still in bloom. And down there you can see several spikes, five to be uh, precise, on my Wilbur Chang. Most of them are going over, but this one, and it is sequential, so it makes new blooms, but here you go. And look at that lip. <laughs> it's beautiful. So yeah, five spikes. It took me a while to get this to bloom, if you remember. But now I've probably found the right, right spot. It started with one spike, a second one, took a bit of time, and then suddenly three uh, new spikes did came as well. So this one uh, appears to be happy over there. My fires, there's still some blooms. But, yeah, we even have a bud here. So, yeah, it will be in, in bloom for a while. But the first spike is, uh, is now going over. These were bought in, so that technically are no, uh, not my blooms. Here we have a... No idea, but it looks like a, a yellow bird. Although these blooms stay more yellow than the actual yellow bird. But I think they can vary a bit. I think so. This is the yellow bird, the big one, and it has two spikes over there, and that one just opened up, and that had the same color. Let me zoom in. I apologize. There it is. And the background is a little bit messy on that shelf, but it's a bit of a pinkish yellow color, and this one had the exact same color, so therefore I think it might be a yellow bird as well. But then Normally that one uh, starts to get fairly yellow and then a bit more creamy. And this one looks like it stays more yellow. So I'm not completely sure if it is a yellow bird. This one is over, but this one is fairly nice still. Also, uh, this one was working. Whoops, I'm sorry, it's a bit... <laughs> I've tried to find my way here <laughs> behind the camera. But uh, uh, yeah, this one was also uh, in bot when I uh, did uh, receive it. So it's technically not completely, so to speak, my blooms. But nonetheless, I li really like this one. So yeah, I was a little bit uh, stuck with this one here. <laughs> my uh, fails here. Not much in bloom. That one's just started to bloom. But we will have a close-up later on. Then over here, you guys, we have a bit of a situation. <laughs> well, first of all, we have beautiful long spikes on my Dendrobium valeopsis types. This one has, I believe, seven or so. This one is always blooming very well, but this year it had even more. But yeah, that is the problem. They are really, really close to the roof. And there, this one is just opening up. It's in a green splash. It's beautiful green purple colored one but um yeah i have even have this is my spring eclipse the very 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 large one over here and i sadly did break off two spikes of this cane they were also very large but we have also one laying there on the shelf and i had aphids so if you see the black dots ignore them they are dead now <laughs> but yeah very long spike and this is the, let me quickly check, the uh, snow jade. But you see, there we're going to have the same problem again. And that is why most of my den fells are currently here <laughs> on the floor. I had an extra pot underneath them because the floor is colder and they really do not like the cold. But yeah, you can see those spikes are very long. Look at this one, it's still growing. This is the chocolate, banana chocolate. 
still growing. And this one has four spikes. It never had that many spikes. And this one was the first one to open. Beautiful. I really enjoy this one as well. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I know they do temporarily live on the floor. <laughs> beautiful purple one. This looks a little bit damaged. I might need to spray them again because I just saw this is the purple happy. Uh, purple happiness. How is it called? Yeah, purple happiness. And I just saw. Go in you. I have some trip damage there, so I need to spray them. But nonetheless, they are beautiful dark purple color. And next to it, I have a cross of this spectable. Just opening up. These flowers are not not that big. They are an old cane as well. So if these start to flower again, I think the blooms will be uh, larger. But nonetheless, they are still uh, beautiful. <laughs> Very strangely shaped, as you can see. And then we have this one. And this one I really love because of the colors and the shape, of course. But those green, yellowish colors with a hint of, uh, hint of uh, pink inside of that lip. Very beautiful. And this is the Dragon Jade number one. And then we have the Blue Happiness. Just saw it already, but now it's a bit be better in frame. As you can see, a very large spike. Up here, it's not in bloom yet, but this is the Thailand's black. And yesterday, <laughs> I did put it here because that spike, let me try to point it out there, that one you see, it was stuck behind, uh, underneath this shelf, this one. I had it sitting over here. So yes, luckily I caught it just in time, but that's <laughs> seriously a problem at the moment. It's not a bad problem, sort of, but I need to really find a way. Um, let me look, here we go. Because we have another big plant in this corner, but I will show that next uh, soon. This one is also, it's, it's such a beautiful one. And this is called... Oh, the tag is stuck. Puff 58 yellow fragrance. I'm sorry. I did have a bloom a little bit too close. <laughs> but that is this one. And then again, you see here, this one is also just about to touch the shelf above it. Um, yeah, let's do the brush here now. This is the Billabong Alba version. Normally I really love the, uh, the Albas. This one is okay, but I must admit the original Alba uh, Billabong is nicer color-wise. This one is about to go over. Uh, let me check. Maybe this, yeah, this has more green in it. The green and purple is very beautiful with that brown orangey color in there as well. But yeah, I like that a little bit better than the Alba in this case. Then I have a no idea brush type here. All the same problem, very, very large spikes. We even have some hiding here. There's a spike here. This one is going over and then we have a spike here. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely, be uh, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and down here we have even a spike. See, I'm not complaining, but I really need to uh, find some space for them. You see, I'm always touching. Yeah, let's uh, get over to the beast. <laughs> Look at this one. It never, never, ever performed so well. Absolutely stunning. These blooms are so big. They've never been this big. And the spike itself is very, very long. And it's stop heavy. So I changed it. I did put my uh, Miltonia Ragnellii, which we will see in a minute, was on here. I put it there because it was a little bit easier. And this one was living over there. So I changed, changed it. But this is the reason because of these incredibly long 
beautiful spikes with these beautiful purple flowers. Maybe you remember this one from last year. But yeah, you can uh, then probably see the difference. And we have a big spike going here. We have there one in the back, as you can see. It's a leaning on the shelf. I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> then over here, same story. It's leaning on this shelf, even some butts to open. I really don't know where to put it. And another spike here. And I just recently saw another one coming over there. So yeah, let's let's back up a little bit again. So yeah, you can see it's it's massive. And I love it. I absolutely love it. The show these these plants do give when they are so big. It's it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And worth every effort to, <laughs> to find a spot for them, absolutely. So yeah, speaking of uh, the big girls, <laughs> trying to find a way. Um, and I will uh, have the name in the screen of this one because I cannot find the tag. You probably saw it already, but if you are interested in this one, I will give you the name. And the tag is somewhere, but I cannot find it at the moment. This is, I think, a Ragnelia type. So it's obviously a no ID. And it's still in bloom. We have some blooms that are going over, but you can see this is a monster as well. So yeah, I thought, well, I want to put you here because these spikes we just saw on this purple one are, are so much longer, even longer than these guys. And there, <laughs> she's also not that small, but she looks small, but it's a very big plant over there. That is the orange delight. Let me get it off because those blooms are so beautiful as well. Like I said, she does look a bit smaller, but she, she I think it's, it's, it's very, um, very big as well. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Then we have another uh, uh, a large mama <laughs> over here. This is also officially a no ID, but like I said in previous videos, videos it does uh, look like the sea breeze, for example of the Bastion Whitmire, Whitmer, as I have it listed, but I, I'm technically, technically speaking, I'm not sure. So it's, it's obviously a no, no ID, no name for that. And then this one, beautiful, also starting to come, become quite some size on this. Absolutely beautiful, some type of sunset cross. I never saw it before, but luckily I could buy it. There was only one plant left. So happy that I did buy this. <laughs> then the Moraliane, not small as well, fairly large. This one is, uh, I'm going to divide this one. I have two uh, colleague growers that would like a piece of this. And I promised them uh, a piece of this plant and that's it. I'm not going to uh, divide it even more. That's it. And then I'm, I'm sticking to this one. But I love to send two pieces, don't get me wrong, but yeah, then I would like to grow it on again because uh, next to it, another fairly big one. I really, really enjoy these big girls. It's beautiful. So yeah, to get them this size, you do not divide them, of course. Just keep them uh, healthy as you can, as healthy as you can and uh, let them bloom. But look at this, isn't this beautiful? Also no ID on this one, sadly, but you can see all the purple over here is from uh, from this plant. She's really starting to grow as well. Absolutely stunning. Then over here, look at this beauty. It's in comparison to the other ones, a very slow grower. And if you grow it in a semi hydroponic setup, it's not an easy one, but this is Miltonia Peterkamp. But just keep it in there. That's what I did. And I said to her, you, this is the only thing you get. I don't change the media. This is the setup. And it took about three years. Whoops, I think I'm stuck behind a spike here. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. <laughs> but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I keep saying that because this one is also beautiful. Also in Maltonia, wonderful. Really, really enjoy this one as well. Beautiful blooms. And this should be the Sandy Scaife. I believe, yes, of cove, not cave, I'm sorry. There is that one. Then we have this one over here, still in bloom as well. 
the golden, ne, Cloetia, Amaldonia Cloetia, I'm sorry. Also beautiful, fairly long spikes. A sunset, she is going over, there's my spotted one. As you can see the spots are uh, disappearing, but we have a sunset there in the back. And then we have two new ones, they were not in my Miltonia update. Look at the shape of this bloom and the colors on that. It's the Angela Barker. Absolutely beautiful. And next to it is a cross. The, the plant itself is not really doing so well, but I hope it will hang in there. This beautiful creamy pink one. Absolutely beautiful. I will have a name in the, in the screen. I cannot read <laughs> the text anymore, you guys. It's so crowded over here. <laughs> Let me zoom out. Um, and then down there, same problem. Uh, hard to read, but I will zoom in. And again, I need to put a name. It's a cross. And I give, give that a division of this one uh, to Inti as well. Beautiful, creamy color blooms. So yeah, next to that orange delight over there. And then these are starting to go over. But this one uh, started to make another spike, as you can see here. Oops, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I know you guys, there are so many in bloom, but I don't want to skip them. They all deserve a little spot here on my video. So. I hope you really do enjoy blooming updates because yeah, we have quite a lot of uh, of blooms, but they are so beautiful. It's just, isn't this a shame not to show these beauties? <laughs> and that's where this video is all about. But I, I'm referring to time-wise. I hope you uh, did get that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I apologize. I just want to give them a spot on the video because down here, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself, but look at this spike. I hope you can see it here. It's on the Sherry Baby. Th those are known for making long spikes, and it really is touching the other orchid, which I don't like. It's growing still. Same story, it did reach the ceiling, so I put it down here, but this is the Sherry Baby. And the fragrance, it is true. It's absolutely magnificent. If you like chocolate, vanilla, a combination of those two, then uh, it's it's Sherry Baby you should uh, should buy. It's more a little bit more vanilla than chocolate for me, but it has both in it certainly. And you see, I did forget this one. She's down here. Look at this; it's beautiful. It is the um, where is the tag? It's a very common one. Philip Tolkien. There we go. But it just slipped my mind to name, and I now realize that, <laughs> whoops, you see, there you go, spike, that I did forget this one as well. Um, oh, you should see me working here with these spikes. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. Uh, Verona. Are you Verona? Yes. Verona, look at her. How can I forget this beautiful? But she is growing her spike just through the shelf. And I let her because <laughs> I'm uh, running out of room. <laughs> let me quickly check what I'm doing here. So that is her. And whoops. And she's making another spike in there. So let's turn that a little bit away from there. And then in here I have this green. Cameras, I believe. Let me zoom in. Also very beautiful. If you ask me, I really like those creamy green colors as well. And here's the tag. Yeah, green Bartonia. I apologize. Green Parrot. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, it's, I'm sorry, it's a little bit messy, but I need to... Uh, find my way through all these sticky pointing everywhere in every direction spikes so and it did lost some weight so it goes a little bit easier <laughs> but nonetheless 
I don't want to break them, of course. Uh, okay, yes, you see, I almost forgot this one. I see, it's so beautiful as well. Hibiki. Almost every grower has this one, I believe. But you see there in the back, even more spikes and buds. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm really happy that I did uh, buy that one. Okay, let's let's go into the orchid room where where I do have more space to move move around. <laughs> move around. Um, in this corner, believe it or not, we still have a Miltoniopsis in bloom. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Beautiful fragrance as well, and even a second spike there. Well, actually, it's one spike on a different bulb, but we do get another spike. Let's put it like that. <laughs> then I need to take my tripod out of the, out of the way, and look at this beauty. Beauty. I love the colors. A bit more earthy color, so to speak, I believe. But this is the uh, Anna Glossom French Town. There is she. She always blooms for me. And normally, in most cases, she will put up another spike when these are almost, almost finished. At least she did uh, last year. And I believe the, even the year before. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe I should put this one uh, by the brush here types as well inside of my greenhouse. I like to cluster them because these are very brushy uh, spidery types flowers as well so maybe she needs to move over there and then we have this one look at this beauty and believe it or not i did find a name for it i'm pretty pretty sure it is this one odontoglossum black tiger star absolutely beautiful let me put it Tag back. There we go. But also a fairly large spike. So that uh, goes well. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Subtle arm. Still in bloom. And another spike over here. And another spike over there and there. So, yes, we're doing well. Beautiful little pinkish flowers. Whoops. Why are you on my finger? What is that? Uh, it's hanging on there. It's, I cannot see it through the lens. There we go. <laughs> Old flower catch in a spider's web. <laughs> that was. But here you go. Beautiful. So to one. Then this is also quite a nice show. Uh, yeah, I hope you can see them. But this is the first spike. That is the one that's still kind of nice. Normally it. It, yeah, it's, these start to go over. It's a little bit lighter of color in the beginning. Beautiful leaf here. And then you can see this one is going over already. It's number two. Number three is over here. And then, yes, next to it is number four. This, I have it still as my Dendrophyllum magnum. But I think it's reclassified as uh, Sologeny. Like there, there did drop a flower. I'm not sure if you saw it, <laughs> but yeah. I, before this, I had uh, two leads uh, growing uh, leads, so two spikes, and this year I have four. So very beautiful. And yes, they have these teeny little flowers. Let me quickly show it to you guys. Here, and they drop them, obviously. But yeah, beautiful. So Sologeny magnum. And then over here, I mean, a oh, look at that. Do you see that? Never ever did make such large spikes. So strong and, and beautiful. And this is an absolutely favorite. I love the colors on this one. Absolutely beautiful. I will talk about it. I see this more. The spikes are longer. Some are do making bigger bulbs. It is something I would uh, would like to refer to. I'm not completely sure if I know the reason, but I have some uh, theories behind it. So that's for an upcoming video. But yeah, and look at the branches. I never had so many branches on these guys. 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this is the Ondoto Glossum Red Ruby. Red Ruby. So there you go. Then over here I have this uh, from the Incas, the uh, Sturbik. Sturbik. Sturbik is always doing fine for me. Absolutely beautiful. There is also a purple variety, but luckily I did find a red one. I have it for years. Nowadays you see more the purple one, but I really do like the red a little bit better. But yeah, you know me, probably, probably one day I will buy the purple one as well, because I really love these flowers as well. So, you probably already see them. I mean, oh, the fragrance is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's almost like a, a lemonade fragrance. Yeah, I know people, not everyone enjoy these, this fragrance, but I, I don't know why, but I love it. Like I said, it reminds me of a, a lemonade, orange lemonade. This is the Nelly Eiler, of course, Swiss Beauty we're talking about. These are the first two spikes. This one is from the yellow one, not only yet. But this one has a spike here here we have a fairly large spike here as well and then um, i mean look at that that is also whoops there we go all the way to the back there's also a spike and then over here she's working on here this spike as well so that is five one two three four five yeah five spikes currently and next to it well let's start in the back over there you see that one is leaning over also a very nice spike is the black uh, red velvet not black velvet red velvet here we go look at that and these are also so beautiful as i can see my camera does change the color a little bit on this red maybe on screens will be okay but it's like it's hard to say from this point but this is the uh, nearly either a red a velvet very suitable name it's absolutely a red velvet on those blooms <laughs> but yeah beautiful spikes beautiful spikes and down here i did get a similar one from Insa Arcus, but this was one I already have. It's the uh, Blossom Falls, Dontonia Blossom Falls, also from Inca Arcus. And look at that, it also has quite a spike over here. And it's down on the floor, but this one doesn't mind, it's a little bit less light as you can see, because it really is working on a beautiful spike over here. While Nelly is wiggling, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. Well, we have more to come. This is a first time bloomer for me, but not in bloom yet. Then we have this one. This one is almost going over, as we can see, but still, we have a nice one over here. Obviously, I have no idea, so I'm not completely sure. And there in the back, we have a beautiful bloom on my uh, Psychopsis. Let me try to look at it like this. I apologize, but I don't want to turn this around too much because I am, they are not really happy. They're starting to root again, so I don't like to move them as much. So I apologize for that, but I hope you had uh, quite a sort of view <laughs> of the bloom. And then here, look at this. It's this is my hand. It's absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful spike! Oh, that was that wasn't in my intention, but I. Uh, wanted to show you uh, a comparison but um, I don't want to make it too dramatic but it, it really is going better and I I would like to make a video about it to share this of course I'm not completely sure if, if, if I have a sort of reason idea why these spikes are getting so long on some plants not on all but yeah overall they are doing beautiful this is the second spike this is not as big so maybe technically it could do even better but for me as a hobby grower this is beautiful uh, a beautiful result and this is this one has a name as well i believe let me quickly check yeah there we go 
Cheyenne. Red Cheyenne. And 35 is just a number for my notes. <laughs> so that's, uh, I know where to find it on my, uh, in my notes. Because next to it, again, this one has a beautiful spike as well. Last time it did bloom, it only had one bloom, maybe you remember it. I think it's about three months back, something like that, I'm not completely sure. But look at it now. Absolutely magnificent. So if you follow my videos, you probably know what I did change. <laughs> did change. I'm not going to say too much yet. But anyhow, you can see the bulb. It's bigger than the previous one. Just, just a bit bigger. And this spike had only one bloom, I believe. So, uh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Then here, oh yeah, and there, were, there were more things that I did change. The light, of course, but that didn't change inside of the greenhouse. It did change here, so it's not only in the light. And then we have this beautiful purple one, because this one reminded me of that, because that was the theme of that uh, video. This one was sort of telling me we need more light, because it only had three blooms. Let me turn this around, oops, with one hand. There you go. Yeah, it looks a little bit messy, but everything did go well. Nothing did break. <laughs> but yeah, the blooms are beautiful. And on the first pack, it only had three blooms. I did give it a bit more light. And it now has five, uh, five blooms on the go. I'm not sure if that really is the result of the light, if that wasn't. Maybe it's just a little bit too quick, but still, it's better. You never know, it's better. This one. As you can see, also working on a beautiful spike, fairly long, did skip the last blooming. So this is definitely the, the light as well, helping. Absolutely. So I had that a little bit too dark. Well, we did, uh, this, these uh, guys will be up in my next video. We will talk about self-watering. So we have some spikes there, not, uh, not much blooms. And here is a spike. Blackjack is working on a, a, a bud and there we have uh, Pinocchio and the other one, the white lady, is also working on a bud there. So no blooms yet there to come. Let me turn around. I'm sorry, I don't hope, uh, I didn't hope, I, I hope I didn't make you dizzy because I did forget this purple beauty, of course, this Saigonesia. How can I forget? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and this is just an old leaf. It looks very uh, tatty, but you can see, whoops, there it goes. Just falls off, so the plant is okay. <laughs> Sometimes people uh, start uh, commenting on that, and uh, that's okay, it's not a problem, but uh, sometimes you just have old leaves. And I'm not taking all, all the old leaves off before I start to film. <laughs> so yeah, we will see them on occasion. But yes, you guys, I think we had quite some blooms. I hope I didn't overdo it, I, uh, but yeah. Like I said, I just want to uh, give them their uh, space in these videos because they deserve it. They are really blooming so well. And these are my, probably one of my most favorite videos to make and to watch on other channels as well. It's just so much fun seeing all those beautiful blooms. I think in the end that is even why we grow them right, right? So uh, yeah, anyhow, you guys, always happens, it always happens. Sorry, we still have a Mazda Velia bloom here. A yellow, creamy one. It has no name, but it's beautiful nonetheless. That's what's happening sometimes. In every video, almost, that I do forget a few. Anyhow, <laughs> if you have questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I really, really, really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>